So firstly, what is the calendar app? The calendar app is basically a flexible, configurable calendar add-on to Smartsheet that allows you to connect Smartsheet data and to visualize all of your events in multiple views and also color code them by categories. So for example, it's really configurable that you can use many examples in terms of your use cases. So for example, you can do a campaign management where you're managing your marketing activities across all of your teams. You can do um, a calendar for retail promotion. So coordinate promotions across departments. You can even do a team schedule. So you can track um, your team members vacation schedule and see who's out of the office when and so on. So for my use case, I am going to be using a marketing use case where I'm going to be tracking my personal tasks across all of my marketing initiatives. As you can see, the calendar over here, I'll provide you a brief overview on really what's in on this calendar, and then we'll take a look on how to create this calendar. So the first thing that probably catches your eye is the different colors. So what's really going on here is I have configured this calendar to match different colors to my different projects. So I know that pink is a networking event and orange is a marketing event. So this is what you can basically configure. And I can also basically set the calendar up to make it show me what I want to see. So for example, what you can see above this tile banner over here is the task name. So Facebook, monitor your online data and make use of Facebook insights and so on. So these are all the specific tasks that I'm assigned to because I want that to catch my eye for the most part. What's in the bottom of the tile are additional data that I think is valuable for this particular task. So I've configured the calendar in such a way and you can too depending on what you feel is valuable. So I have here sheet name. Sheet name just means that the project name in Smartsheet language, campaign type, and a date, okay? Now, this is a month view. What I can do is I can toggle based on different views, but the default view that I've set for this calendar to open up is a month view, but I can still go ahead and change this. So let's say I go on to a day view. I can see each day what tasks I'm assigned to, any um, attachments or comments and so on. On the left side here, I've grouped it based on the event type. So I really just wanna see which event is local and which is re regional. So I've configured the Smartsheet calendar to do such a thing. Apart from that, it's not only the display, when I click into each of these tiles, a details panel shows up where it has all of the data that again, I can configure. So let's say I wanted to add a notes column from my Smartsheet sheet into here. I can configure it, not having it to display on this tile, but only in the de details panel when I click into it. Any attachments, any comments can also go here. and. The nice thing about this is that if I add an attachment or a comment to each of these tiles, it goes back into the Smartsheet sheet and it works vice versa. So if I do that to the Smartsheet sheet, it will also go back into the calendar app. Not only can I view it for the day, I can do a weekly view, so now you can see my other event here. You can go to a multi-month. I can do quarter. I can do month. So how do we create such a view? And let's look at different settings so that we can change the look and feel of this calendar. And let's take a look at, at this in action. So I'm going to switch over now to the source of this calendar. So where is the where did this information come from? So if you all can see my report over here, it says my tasks across all projects. 
So what's really happening here is I have three sheets, which are all of my projects. Networking event is one project. Team building is another project. Marketing is another project. And these are all tasks that are assigned to me. By me, I mean Smartsheet Demo, since I'm logged in to Smartsheet Demo. So if you look through this report, it's basically all of the um, all of the tasks that are assigned to myself. Yes, this is a great way for me to see all of the tasks to, that are assigned to me, but what if I wanted it to look like in a more visually appealing manner? That's what the calendar is for. So let's start to build one from scratch. If I go to launcher and I go to calendar, I'm going to go to add new. And I'm going to select a sheet or a report. First, I had to build this report so that it can show me a report for all of my projects. So that's the first step. Now I just add this to my calendar. So I have my report. I go next. So this is where I'm able to configure the view. So what kind of a view do I want to default when I open up the calendar app? So I can do, let's say, a monthly view or a daily view, weekly view. So let's do a daily view for this one. Let me just move this across here. And look at the settings so that I can explain how it exactly looks like. Okay. Now, next, here they're asking you to map the fields from the Smartsheet columns to the fields that is in the, the calendar apps language. So, what is the task name? Task name with the asterisk means that it's required. Any fields that don't have an asterisk is not required. So what happens and with the asterisk and if it's a task name? When it's when it shows the task name and it's a required, it's not they're not going to show you a display checkbox because it's going to be displayed regardless on the tile. On the right side here, you can see how it's going to be displayed on your tile. So task name, task owner, which is here, task details are listed here and tell start date, end date, and so on. So here I want my full task name. And basically what happens with the task name is that it shows what is happening above the, the tile. So, and I, I will show you the look and feel of the tile because you're also able to configure that. But basically the task name, the main thing that catches your eye, that's the full task name, task owner, Fine to, I, I don't want to display task details, no need. Start date, symbol. So I have a symbol in my sheets that say, it's a checkbox that says done or not, because I just want to simply know if I have done this task or I have not. Now, remember how for the, um, the calendar that I showed you, it was grouped based on local and regional. So here's where I would do the data grouping. So in my case, let's say now I wanted to change things up a bit and I want to group it by campaign type. And I don't want it to show on my display because I just want to see it in a the day view and group to the side. Now I can go ahead and add this calendar or I can switch it to an advanced view to enhance the calendar a bit more. When I switch to enhanced view, you will see four extra tiles pop up. When I switch to basic view, it just stops at three. So this is the bare minimum requirement for you to set up a calendar. Now, if I go to advanced and I go next, I can configure additional columns. So what does additional column mean? That means that if you want additional data to show up on your tile in each of the in each of the days you can add those so for example in my case i want to see despite 
the, co the color is being coded by the project name, I want to be able to see the project name on the tile itself. That's where I would use additional columns. So my project name is sheet name. So I'm going to put sheet name and display. If I don't display it, then it will go under the details panel that I, I showed you just a few minutes ago. Now, let's say previously I put in campaign type and I've grouped it based on the campaign type. So right now, when I want to add another column, I don't need to add campaign type. Let me add event type and let me display it so that you can see it on the tile. Bottom here is sort columns. So sort column as how it sounds, which one do you want to show up first, the sheet name or the event name? So that's up to you. As ascending or descending, also up to you. No need for me. So I'm going to go next. Okay. So here's where um here's where the time and design comes into place. So time and design means that you can customize the calendar based on a specific look and feel of the calendar. So I can open the date on a specific day or today. So let's say specific day, today is the 16th, let's say from 17. Number of periods is just how many columns do you want to spread your um, your time periods towards. I personally have never used it. Date column, how do you want your date to be displayed? Is it month, date, year, depending on the US, uh, US or Canada? And color by column. So color by column is where you are identifying how you're going to be differentiating these tiles. So is it by sheet name? Is it by task name? Is it by who's assigned to? If you want to see, but for me, the, this report is for myself. It's only assigned to me. So in this case, I don't have to do it. But let's say if you want wanted, uh, if you had a report that was tasked across all projects, but everyone's task, you can simply color it by who's assigned to. So that's how great the calendar app is because you can really configure it based on what you'd like to see. So in my case, I would like to do it as sheet name and great tile view. So tile view is how would you like your tile to look like on the calendar app? Is it with a header bar? That's how I had it when I showed it to you a few minutes ago. Is it with a top bar? Is it with a semi-transparent? Is it a color filled? So I like I personally like with header bar the best. I feel like it looks the most professional. And what the text that is on the with header bar is basically the full task name. Now, going next, yes, we have here and OK, so this is um, just some of the more options that you can have with the um, calendar. So what you can do is you can put in a name for your calendar. You can put in the start day of the, the calendar, which day you would like to start. Um, you can put in the when does the the start of your month, the quarter, um, if you want to ignore weekends or not, this is just a link to um, the web form. So when you click in it, it takes you to the calendar. And once I once I create this calendar, this would basically take you to the calendar, and you can share that with anyone. Anyone on the right side here, if you wanted to basically invert um, the calendar from a horizontal view to a vertical view. If you want to hide week numbers, if you want to allow attachments, allow comments, allow new events, you can add all of these things. So let's say I wanted to allow new events and I want to allow uh, comments, attachments, and so on. 
So the 454 calendar is basically what it does is that it's divided into months based on, let's say, four weeks, five weeks, or four weeks. So some months may have five weeks, some months may have four weeks. So it basically just takes into consideration the same number of Saturdays and Sundays to appear in the comparable months. So this is usually used if you wanted to see your sales growth and, and so on in, in your uh, retail sector, that kind of vibe. And then if you uh, wanted to show the hide button or not, display all categories, that's really up to you. Okay, so now we go next. And this last style is basically just a review of all of what we were doing and what we've configured in the past six tiles. Um, you can just do a quick review. If you wanted to change anything, anything you can still change it be, um, after you've created it as well. So no sweat on that. Now I can just add my calendar. Okay. So here's my calendar. You can see it based on day, week, multi-month, order, month, and so on. So again, it's being color coded by sheet name. So this this is one project, this is another project. And notice how when I go to day, the grouping instead of event type, regional or local, I've changed it to campaign type, networking or social media marketing. So you just get a more in-depth view on what you really want to see. That's one. Second, let's say, let's let's play around with this calendar a bit and let's maybe change the color to, let's say campaign type what happens so again campaign type event type regional local you have color coded appropriately. So really, you can configure this calendar app to suit your own liking. And you may ask, can you change the color of the column? Yes, you can. The reason why I can't is because the campaign type, the event type, and even the sheet name, they're all basically built using formulas from my sheets. So that's why you can't um, color code it depending on your colors. But you can definitely change the colors of your own. Um, you basically have to set it up in such a way that you can change your own colors. And we can definitely help you with that. It's just how I've configured it because I have built formulas on the back end. It doesn't allow you to do that. And that concludes the calendar app training.